I think as a basketball team, we, we had a group of young men start the Seton Hall game, and at halftime they came out as really tough men with the type of defense we wanted to play, and then they came out the entire evening and played unbelievable defense, the defense that we've been waiting for and we wanted to see. So I'm real proud of the guys. They did a tremendous job tonight. I'm real proud of Peyton Seaver, obviously, and the way he's playing as well. How many teams did, you know, do you think could, could shoot 38% and still win by 20? Well, we didn't shoot 38 in the first half. You know, I think that's more just playing with a lead and jacking up shots, you know, I, th I think Peyton just took some ridiculous shots. I think everybody was just trying to have a good time, but still focusing in on playing good defense. So I'm not going to look for a negative because we're making free throws. The only, the only negative I could find is the turnovers. Talk about rebounding coach. That was excellent. I think Shane gave us a tremendous lift uh, in the game. I think Gorky played his tail off, but <clears throat> Shane had 12 rebounds at halftime, and he... You know, he wasn't supposed to play. Trainer was going to hold him out. He said, he told one of our coaches that I'm ready to play. I said, it's a little painful, but I can play. So, you know, players make the decisions and that type of thing. And um, Shane really helped us this evening. What maybe specifically are your guys doing defensively? Just I just think they, I've been trying to explain to them that defense wins your ball games regardless of what happens on offense. And... We had a, a real nice meeting at halftime of the Seton Hall game, and I think they understood it. <laughs> <laughs> um, with this, uh, you know, last time they were here, South Florida was here, um, was senior night last year, disappointing loss for, for, for your team. How has, this, how has your team grown since it obviously made it to the Final Four last year? What have, you know, how have they adjusted? And Well, we allowed them to dictate the pace of the game last year um, with certain shots we took offensively, and we weren't very aggressive at the defensive end. Obviously, we were, we were a little bit more physically talented and playing much more man-to-man -man this year, um, so that helps us as well. We did a great job of switching. We did a great job of playing their plays tonight from a scouting standpoint. Beat them on second chance points, 20-2, to 2, 19. Well, the one thing we were preaching was in their five losses, it was double-digit offensive rebounding was the main reason they lost. And we, we, that was going to be a, a focal point to that was offensive rebounding, that every shot was going to be a pass to somebody. Where is uh, Gorgie's game since he's kind of been back and in the flow? He's, he's I think he's getting know. better with each day. I think once, you know, this week he'll get examined again, and once that soft – Rubber gets off his hand. I think he'll block more shots with his left hand. I don't think it's bothering him. Probably gives him a little comfort, but you know, I, I don't think he's blocking shots with his left hand. But I think he's doing a lot of really good things. Peyton hits a career mark tonight, breaks the thousand point mark. Could you just talk about him and his importance to the program defense the garden? You know, I, I think every now and then in life, you come across a Billy Donovan, you come across a Peyton Siva. They're so few and far between where they don't have any of what we all have, the human frailties uh, in life. You know, I, I haven't been able, I told him the other day, I don't know what it was, I, I found one thing wrong with him. And so he said, what's that? He said, you put your hands up with a ref when you make a charge and in like you didn't do it. And he says, that's all you could come up with? <laughs> and, uh, and that's pretty much it. He's, there are no perfect human beings, but he's about as good as I've, I've coached. Those two guys are just as wonderful as human beings as anybody I've ever encountered in my coaching career. Speaking of charges, what was that exchange like? I saw Mike Roberts, I think, was the ref that was over by the bench talking to Seba after that play. He just said, keep your dribble alive. And then I told him, "Why? what are you doing? Keep your dribble alive. Dribble back out. You don't want to go with that big fella, the other guy. And um, keep your dribble alive, and let's get you out of the game. And and he said he came under me. Said, and then the referee <coughs> came over and, and said, keep your dribble alive, son, and dribble out. And, and then Peyton said, well, you told him that, Coach. I said, I didn't tell him a single thing. <laughs> and uh, I said to Mike, will you please tell him I didn't tell you that? And he, st he still didn't believe it, but he didn't tell me that. I didn't tell him that. When you talk about the ramifications of the short turnaround, you got just... Well, they got the same thing. It's only, it's only a hindrance when, when the other team doesn't do it, and that's not the case. So they're a great ball club. Obviously, they snap um, that long winning streak in Notre Dame at home. Uh, they've got 
arguably one of the best backcourts in the nation. Two great scorers. Uh, they both score great. Uh, Napier, believe it or not, is the leading rebounder on Connecticut's team. He rebounds from, you know, six foot one inch guard, rebounds from it. So they're a terrific team. I'm really, really happy for them because I love their coach. He's a class young man who I knew would do a great job. There was not, uh, more so than any person I've ever encountered in my life, I knew he would be a great coach. That's going to be the start of a pretty tough stretch. Are there any kind of concerns entering? You know, the way we, we handle it is in the Big East, you just play it one game at a time and move on. There's no, this is a, like the Atlantic Coast Conference in the Big Ten. It's, it's, you know, I saw Indiana almost lose to Iowa. Could have very easily lost to Iowa. And, and today they had a big lead against Minnesota. So the Big Ten, the ACC, the Big East, they just every single game is a war. I mean, last year we lost to this team. So we, we look forward to it. We're going to lose, like everybody in this conference, you're going to lose some games. But the most important thing is you keep getting better. And we're getting a lot better at the defensive end, and that's what pleases me. Is there anything that's concerning you? No. Uh, that's you know, way to find uh, to our team? Yeah. No, I think it's from the Seton Hall halftime to now, I, I can't be any more pleased. I think we were focused at the defensive end from a scouting standpoint, from a rebounding standpoint, from a ball containment standpoint, things that we didn't see before that. Anything else for Coach? Okay. Thank you. I went to yell. <laughs>